Hi, I am uh, Dr. Maya Dunne. I want to show you basic um, features of chemical nomenclature. Um, in chemical nomenclature, we have nomen different role for um, naming ionic compounds, uh, acids, um, ionic acids, I mean acids, not organic, inorganic, sorry, inorganic acids, we say, inorganic acids, and um, uh, molecular compounds. So these are the main uh, three types of compounds I'm uh, talk, talking in this lecture. So let's first look at the ionic compounds. What is ionic compound first? Ionic compound made out of metal, and a non-metal, right? So if you think about uh, ionic compound nomenclature, um, ionic compounds make out of made of uh, metal, non-metal. Uh, so ionic compounds broadly we can divide into two types: metals form one type of cation, metals form more than one type of cations. What is this? Metal form, let me write it for you. Metal form only one type of cation. Metals, we call monovalent, multivalent. Metal form more than one type of cation of cation um, so metals form one type of cation are mainly um, main group elements if you look at the periodic table what are the metals form um, only one type of cation like uh, think about periodic table um, Example like um, hydrogen. Uh, so this is a periodic table, simple periodic table. Okay. So most of the metals in the main group elements they form one type of cations. So um, example, if you think about group one, lithium form plus one. Um, little. Sorry, hydrogen, helium, helium, beryllium, bor. Yeah, sugar chlorine. So this is basic periodic table, very simple. You can write potassium and calcium. Very basic periodic table. So in this periodic table, you see group one always form plus one. Group two form plus two. Why it form plus one? Because always these metals form ions to go to the closest noble gas configuration. Lithium has three electrons. If it loses that electron, it can go to the helium, which is very stable, noble gas, inert gas configuration. So because of that, always there are several metals forming only one type of cation. So mainly group one metals, group two metals and aluminum and also silver, zinc, even though they are in D block, still, still silver and zinc form only one type of cation. So how do you name these uh, compounds form only one type of cation? Um, you write, so let's take a simple compound, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, you write sodium, name of the metal first, using first capital letter, leave a space, and then chloride. Sorry, sodium chloride. So when you write sodium chloride, you don't write just chlorine, you add ide to end. Sodium chloride. So this is how you write simple ionic compound. Let's take how do you write um, what is the compound uh, making from magnesium and chlorine? So it should be magnesium chloride. You see the magnesium chloride.
magnesium chloride so magnesium you write magnesium first chloride second you look at the valency of magnesium which is what is the charge of magnesium forming mg but chloride form one chlorine need because magnesium loses two electrons in order to gain that you have should have two chlorine so mgcl2 sodium chloride nacl because na loses one electron chlorine gains that electron one to one cancel out but magnesium loses two electron in order to gain that because it should be a neutral whichever gives you like mag metal loses electron um, non-metal gain that electron so magnesium loses chlorine gains you need two chlorines MgCl2 let's take another example aluminum chloride so Al Al Cl3 because aluminum loses it's three group three so three electrons in order to gain that you should have three chlorine so this is how you write aluminum chloride um, let's take something some other compound um, sodium oxide um, Na um, sodium oxide you I write Na2O why I'm writing sodium oxide Na2O why sodium um, loses only one electron but oxygen need two how do you know it's two because metal non-metal non-metal gains metal lose when non-metal gain in order to gain it should need one electron if it is just gain one electron it's not going to noble gas so it gain should gain two electrons so that's why i write that way so na2o okay now um, i want to show you sodium oxide we finish how to write sodium oxide i want to show you a method how to write the chemical formula of aluminum oxide how do you do the aluminum oxide so now we we'll look how to make the formula of aluminum how to write the chemical formula of aluminum oxide so aluminum oxide aluminum is the metal oxide is the oxygen is the non-metal here you find what is the charge of aluminum here aluminum is plus three oxygen is two in this way you write the metal and a non-metal metal first non-metal next and then you find the charges and then you switch it charge of aluminum goes under oxygen which is three charge of oxygen goes under aluminum you get your formula as al2o3 so this is the formula of aluminum oxide any um, ionic compound which form using one type of metal metal form only one type of uh, cations which is monovalent cations you can write the compound is for example if i ask um like a magnesium nitride you can write magnesium nitride You write mg and n charge of magnesium goes under nitrogen charge of ni mg3 n2 would be the charge of uh, the formula of magnesium nitride so this is how you write the metals form only one type of cation if we look at the uh, metals form more than one one type of cation which is multivalent cations multivalent cation how do you name so it's easy to identify multivalent cations um mainly multivalent cations um uh, d block mainly d block elements so those are the multivalent very common example fe2 plus fe3 plus cu1 plus cu2 plus if you're wondering how do you know you have the table in your most of the textbooks so you know okay this metal for more than one type of cation so let's take um if we iron um i have two compounds 
formaldehyd fe sorry fe2o fe uh, 2o3 so what are these two iron oxide so what is the charge of iron here what do you think this is iron what is the charge of iron here this would be iron what do you think what do you, what do you think of the charge of the um wait a minute, wait a minute. so if you uh, now if we look at the multivalent cations how do you name the compound form from multivalent cations iron form two types of oxides iron two oxides iron three oxide so how this this if i give you these two oxides and i ask name these compounds how to do it fe2o feo so you know oxygen always two right so oxygen two should go here iron two goes here so basically it's like fe2o2 remember i said switching charges if they need the same number you don't write it you can just cancel out so that's why you can write feo in this compound charge of the iron is iron 2 oxide this compound what is the charge of the iron you when you switch this is iron 3 oxide iron 2 oxide iron 3 oxide so this is how when you have the compounds from multivalent cation this is how you name let's take another example cuo cu2o what is the charge of copper here because this is 2 and so this is copper 2 oxide what about this so this 2 goes here this this so it's 1 so it's a copper 1 oxide so this is how you name um, compounds made out of more than one type of cation so i hope you understand the naming of ionic compounds from um, forming only one type of cation and then more than one type of cation and then if you look at the acid nomenclature Acid nomenclature can be classified into two types. Acid nomenclature will be mm, mainly two acids. Binary acids oxy acids. Oxy as binary acid means hide all these acids contain hydrogen, hydrogen and one another element. Example HCl HBr. H F. But oxy acids are the acids in their anion, they have oxygen. Example H2 SO4 H N O3 H um, 2 CO3. So these are the oxy acids. So how do you name binary acids? Always use right with hydro. Then you write the anion and add hic, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic. So if I write it, HCl would be hydrochloric acid. HBr would be hydrobromic acid. And then, if you take any of the <coughs> oxy acids, how do you name this? Um, H2SO4, uh, HNO3, and um, so how do you name, write H2SO4? You name these oxy acids by the anion. What is this anion? Sulfate. Right, sulfate is the anion. So if it is eight, you remove eight and add ic. So it's going to be 
Sound Puric Acid. Let me take in HNO3. What is the anion? Nitrate. So you add, remove it and add ic. So it's going to be nitric acid. And um, let's take H2CO3. Um, what is the anion? Carbonate. Again, remove it, add carbonic acid. So this is the end of acid nomenclature. I want to show you one more thing um, before we wrap up. So we learn here how to name, um, what is it? Um, I put it here. Sorry, how to name the uh, ionic compounds. Ionic compound is metal form only one type of cation, metal form more than one type of cation. And then we talk about sodium chloride like that. And then always the trick is you find the uh, charge of each um, metal and a non-metal and you switch it. And then we went to multivalent and then acid. Hope this video helpful for you to understand the nomenclature. Thank you.